Imagine a time and place where people from all around the world work together to develop new inventions, discover new knowledge, and understand more about our universe. A place where the language was science used to make the world a better place. Such a time and place existed. It was a long time ago and has almost been forgotten. Men have dreamed of flying ever since they learned to walk. History is full of legends and tales of men who tried to fly. The first successful attempt at flight was done by the Chinese who flew kites around the 5th century. The first human flight was accomplished by a great Muslim inventor, Abbas ibn Furnas. Abbas ibn Furnas was born in Andula, Spain, but he lived in the Emirate of Cordoba, one of the major centers of learning in the Muslim world. Oh, hi there. My name is Abbas ibn Furnas, the world's first pilot. My glider inspired many inventors, particularly the Wright brothers who built the first successful aeroplane. So the aeroplanes you know today may look different, but they are built on the research that was carried out by me for many, many years. One day, Ibn Furnas watched a man test the first parachute jump. This gave him an idea. For the next 23 years, Ibn Furnas studied the nature of flight, and eventually at the age of 70, he built a pair of wings out of silk, wood, and actual feathers, and he jumped off a cliff, gliding in the air. Ibn Furnas's brave attempt at flying launched him into history. And so, as we see great Muslim minds have walked this earth as scholars, scientists, doctors, philosophers, and engineers, the true sign of intelligence is not knowledge, but imagination. So if you dare to imagine like those before us, you will become creators who bring dreams to life.